James, another goal, another win, uh, another good afternoon's work. Uh, yeah, great afternoon's work from uh, from everyone. You know, um, we know today was going to be a, a tough game. Uh, Rochdale, they're they're, uh, they're a tough nut to crack, and uh, I think they came in with a good game plan. But we had to be patient, and uh, I think we, uh, we we deserved the victory in the end because we. Uh, we uh, was knocking on the door all afternoon and then once the first one came I thought there was only one team going to win it. It came with a different shape to what you'd expect and, and sort of crowded it out a little bit but we still created the opportunities and they had a couple of moments first half but you know, we could have easily gone in at the break in, in front couldn't we? Yeah definitely we had a, we had a few chances first half, uh, Kiwi's made a couple of great saves um, but they were always dangerous on the counter attack as well but I thought the, uh, the back five were, were excellent and Macro in front of them and uh, I thought um, they had a couple of dangerous opportunities, but I don't think we were ever in any any danger of conceding. Hills had a great chance. I think it, it was a, a lovely move. I think you played Pelly on the left, and Pelly whips a great ball into his path and just off target. It was symptomatic of sort of how it's been going for Dan recently, but he's finally got that scrappy one to get him off and running again. Yeah, that, that's that's all you need as a striker when you when you've been out injured and you come back in the team. You just want to get that 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 goal. It don't matter how it goes in. Um, and sometimes the, the easiest ones are the hardest ones but uh, delighted for Danny to, to get his goal because he's, um, he's been working so hard and he's such an honest player for the, for the team and, um, and it, to be honest it was, it was the goal was needed because um, we'd missed so many chances leading up to it um, we needed someone like Danny to, uh, to break the deadlock. I've asked him what you said to him because it's a nice little embrace on the centre circle because you've been in that position earlier this season Charlton, yeah, you've got one that fell for you, you've tucked it away and um, you know what Danny's been going through with that drought, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. Um, every striker goes through it um, and uh, I, I felt for him the last few weeks, he, he, he beats himself up like anyone else does and because uh, he wants to do well for the team and for, for himself and um, I just said to him he, he deserves that and um, I'm, I'm really delighted for him and uh, that, that's the truth because um, the more goals we can uh, have in this team, the uh, the quicker we can uh, be where we get where we want to be. Your goal in injury time, um, predictably came courtesy of Kaz. He's uh, well, is it the Jack Stacey or Kaz that sets you up recently, isn't it? But he's done brilliantly in that left corner. You think you're running the clock down? I think some of the fans were actually set, you know, not happy with the short free kick. Yeah. But then he's wriggled his way past two or three players, and it's it's there for you again. Yeah, Kaz is for me personally. Kaz has been excellent. Um, he's set up a, a lot of my goals and. I said to him, I owe him, I owe him so much because um, he's so selfless and he's so uh, quick and powerful. He commits people and uh, he commits bodies to the ball, and then he just passes it off to to, to us, and we, we get the glory. And um, I, I just said to him, thank you very much. I'm delighted, delighted he could set me up, and uh, thankfully I took took it away and and uh, see see the game out. 20 goals for the second season in a row here at this club and 20 league goals I think now as well yeah. which is what you, you were desperate to get to yeah, yeah. Year, weren't you? But yeah I was good last year I didn't get to it I had, I had six games to, to do it at the end of last year and um, promotion was the main aim but once we got promoted I was desperate to get there but it wasn't to be last year and um, it goes to show if you if you keep doing the right things and and keep uh, keep working hard, then uh, you never know what will happen the season after. And um, to get it in this season is probably arguably a better achievement than getting it last year. And we were just saying before we just start the interview, obviously a lot of talk about the Republic of Ireland. Mick McCarthy was here today watching you. You reckon he might have left by before that one went? Yeah, in, probably. Yeah. But you know, your all-round performance is sure to have impressed him, and it's just waiting to see for you now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't think I could do much more. Um, uh, it's always been in the back of my mind. Um, they've, be, they've came to watch me a couple of times, and um, I've just tried working out and not changing too much. Uh, keep trying to do the right things and keep trying to score goals. And whether he was here or not from a goal, then I don't, I don't know. But um, hopefully, he'll see that I managed to squeeze one in at the end and. Uh, Hopefully that will uh, will uh, help make his mind up. And it was important today as well, having seen Barnsley go and win at Southend before kickoff. It was important to uh, to get the victory to keep that gap at five points. Yeah, we had it on in the in the dressing room before, and we've seen that one of their lads get sent off, and we thought mm, maybe something could happen. But Barnsley are a good side, you know, um, and we need to just look after what we do. And if we keep winning and keep that gap open, then um, and uh, who knows what will happen, but. 
Um, Barnsley played really well today and uh, fair play to them for getting the three points with 10 men. As you mentioned, there was some chances when they early on. Obviously, Paddy was a good save and Jack went through, but there was always the confidence that you would, you would break the deadlock today. Yeah, I think so. I think um, there's only so many times you can you can keep keep us out. I think we uh, created so many chances, and their goalie was probably man of the match for them. Really, um, he, uh, he he made some great saves, and um, I think the more we kept going and prodding, they couldn't probably keep that press up for the whole 90 minutes. And uh, I was always confident that we were going to get that goal, but it was just how it was going to come. You were finished when you came as well in left foot as well. I must be pleased with that one. Yeah, delighted. Yeah, Kaz done all the hard work. I just I get the glory, you know. I just had to keep the keep the ball down and uh, get it on target because it was pretty much an open goal. So um, delighted to uh, to see it go in the back of the net. Yeah. And Twenty with eleven games to go. I mean, that's that's some achievement to, to reach that stat already, isn't it? Yeah, personally for me, this season's been been excellent, and um, I just want to keep going, keep trying to get more, and um, the more goals I score the more chance that we've got of winning games and that's the main, that's the most important thing at this stage of the season, winning, winning games and um, you know, uh, the prize at the end of it is, uh, is special. Also obviously with all the Irish stuff that's gone on, have they been in contact with you? Because obviously Robbie came to watch it recently and, and Mike McCarthy was here today, have they had any feedback? Have you had any feedback? No, I've not, I've not spoke to anyone from Ireland, um, I know they've came to watch me a few times but I know the squad gets announced on Thursday so fingers crossed I hear something in the week. Because obviously you'd miss a game for Luton, but the chance to represent your country is just one you, you can't really not turn down, but it'd just be a dream come true. Of course it would, yeah. Um, I know I'd, I'd miss a big game in the Doncaster one at home, but I think um, I think people can forgive me if I do end up going away because for me personally and career-wise, it's uh, everything. It's the pinnacle of anyone's career playing for their country. So if I can, uh, if I do get the chance to do that, then um, we've got a good enough squad here to uh, to, to maintain that run going. Just looking a week ahead now, we'll see Plymouth and Bradford. I mean, as we said, it's, it's two huge, two huge games and, and two long trips, isn't it? Yeah, two two massive away games and, uh, like you say, two really long trips. But we'll uh, we'll prepare right right in the week and um, we're going to prepare right over the weekend. And um, we're not going to let that be an excuse them being uh, long trips because um, we've got we've got our, our goal in sight and. We, uh, we, we, I think the lads in that dressing room and the staff will do anything to to, to achieve that. And the last word, James, about uh, Kate Lanigan. Um, he was always experienced, obviously. As you say, he was their man of the match. But um, as time went on, it, it almost became inevitable that the goal was going to go in because at the very last, it was the first goal. It was two saves, and then then a goal which finally uh, sort of broke it down. Yeah, like you say, he done excellent for. The first two saves in, in before the goal, and he, ne he nearly got the goal. To be honest, it hit him and went in. So, um, yeah, he's got great experience. He had a great career, and um, and he, he was usually experienced like time wasting and stuff like his kicking was good. So, you've got to expect that when teams who are struggling like Rochdale are um, to, to come to Lut uh, Luton and, and do that because. Um, I think that's a, it's, it's a tactic most people are going to use. Have you ever seen anybody book for time wasting in the first half? No, that's what I said to him. I said, there's a long, there's a long way to go, mate. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean? There's no point time wasting now. And, and maybe he, he was told to do so, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, but like you say, he, he was excellent for them today. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. No worries.